Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to Soulmates Twin Flames Tarot. We are doing something a little different today. This is something new for you guys. We're doing a love reading for you and your person of interest or the person who is on your mind. We will be using this deck to start the reading Unspoken Love Messages from the Heart. This is our deck and there's a link in the description below if you're interested in this deck. But as always, please remember this is a general reading for the collective. Not all of these messages or all of this reading will resonate with everyone watching. So please just take in what resonates with you and your situation and let the rest go. I'm really lost without you and full of guilt and regret. I hope one day you can forgive me for what I've done to you. So this is really telling us that your person has an awareness within them, that their behavior towards you, their actions, whatever they did, whenever they did what they did, whether it was running, whether it was denying the connection, saying the connection didn't exist, or even if it's ghosting or blocking, okay? There is an awareness within them. They have remorse. They have regret and they feel guilty for that behavior. And they are hoping that one day you will be able to forgive them for what they've done and hopefully give them another chance to be in your life. I have loved you since the moment I first saw you. You are so beautiful or handsome as the case may be. You're all I've ever wanted. So did it feel like love at first sight for you guys? Did it? Because I do feel that's what it felt like for your person. From the moment your paths first crossed, your person felt something. Something happened inside them. Something happened within them. Call it a spark. Call it this instant attraction. Call it love at first sight. Call it a cosmic shift. Butterflies, whatever it was, your person felt that. And did you feel that as well, guys? People watching this reading, did you feel that as well? And I do feel that your person felt this strong, deep attraction to you in that very moment when you first cross paths. I can't face you right now because I'm not strong enough to face my fears. So when they're running and ghosting, they're having to look at, deal with, and address their fears. And that's something that they really have to do on their own by themselves and until they've really worked through those issues and worked through all that stuff or at least some of that stuff they're not able to face you because they're not fully changed or even halfway changed okay so until they're actually ready to face some of their fears whatever those fears are i do feel there probably won't be much communication from your person, if any communication. They need to grow. They need to evolve. They need to work through whatever is keeping them stuck, keeping them blocked from being able to have and embrace this true unconditional love connection that's here between the two of you. I had to lose you to finally start loving me. So perhaps some of their fears or insecurities that they were dealing with is their self-worth, self-esteem issues. And perhaps it's been really hard for them to love themselves. Perhaps they've never really been loved by anyone before other than you. And it was a very foreign feeling for them. It was something that they weren't used to. I'm sure perhaps, I'm sure they had relationships in the past, but not this real, true, unconditional love that you share with them, that you give to them. I feel that's something they didn't really experience before. And if someone doesn't really love themselves, if they have a hard time liking themselves or loving themselves, it is practically impossible for them to love anyone else. But by losing you, by letting you go, by running, by ghosting, abandoning, or denying this connection, whatever their behavior was, it has made them realize that they need to love themselves. Once they love themselves, get greater self-esteem, greater self-confidence, then they'll be ready to actually start embracing this connection that's here between the two of you. I'm healing my heart. 
See, I do feel your person has some past relationship stuff, whether it's trauma, drama, chaos between them and someone from the past that they hadn't really healed. And this could even go as far back as childhood, guys. They could be having to heal some childhood issues. Maybe there's some abandonment issues, which has caused them to not really love themselves, but they are working through their stuff. They're healing their heart. And as they heal their heart, they will be ready to embrace this connection with you and get this relationship moving and grooving into a forward direction. I wish I could be brave and tell you I still love you and want you in my life forever. And you know what? Their wish will come true. Their wish will come true. They will find that courage. They will find that strength <clears throat> to be able to express their love for you. And when they do, when they're ready, after they've healed their heart, they will present themselves as a romantic partner and show you and tell you they want you in their life forever. I'm coming back to you when I'm ready to give you the love you deserve. And you know what? You deserve for them to be a stronger, better, more loving, more caring, more compassionate person than perhaps the person that they were immediately before the two of you went your separate ways or when you broke up or when they ran or when they ghosted or when this connection fell apart between the two of you. And as they learn to love themselves and allow their heart to heal, they will be ready to give you the love that you deserve, not only deserve, but also desire. They'll be a more stable, loving, romantic partner for you than the person who left. I still have a lot of healing, learning, and growing to do before I'm ready for you. And they do. They have to grow. They have to evolve. You've been working on yourself and don't stop working on yourself. I don't feel like you should wait for them. You keep going. You keep moving. You keep growing and evolving, having spiritual awakening and personal growth the way that you're doing it right now, guys. Okay. But your person still has to heal. They have to grow. They have to evolve. These are the things that are keeping them stuck. These are the things that are preventing them from being able to come into this union into this relationship, this true loving partnership with you in this great connection that's here between the two of you. I want a new beginning with you. Is it possible to forgive and forget? A fresh start, a new beginning, them presenting themselves as a solid romantic partner, someone who can be expressive of themselves, of their emotions, who can let down their guard, who can be vulnerable, who can meet you halfway, who can allow this connection in terms of like equal giving and receiving between the two of you, who's going to put forth the effort and the energy to really show you and express to you their love for you. I'm longing to hold you again. When I finally do, I never want to let you go ever again. You are my forever. So this reading started out with this very powerful statement from your person here. I'm really lost without you and full of guilt and regret. And now we come to the place where it is right now. I'm longing to hold you again and never wanting to let you go. So your person recognizes that you are the one for them. They recognize that this connection between the two of you is something special something powerful, something unique, something that they have never had or experienced before. Don't mistake my silence for not loving you. And it, their silence does not mean they don't love you, although it's really hard to not have that communication from your person, especially when you miss them, especially when you long for them, especially when you yearn for them. But as they're going through this place of growth, until they're truly ready to embrace this connection and embrace you and hold you forever, any sort of like false starts will not be helpful to you guys, okay? So their silence is because they're working on themselves, not because they don't love you. It, they're just being quiet. And I know it's really hard because you miss them, you want to see them, and you want to spend time with them. But until they're fully ready to come out of the cocoon and be this solid romantic partner that you deserve, 
You've got to kind of like let them do their thing. And I know it's really hard, but that's the best thing for you to do, to give this connection and give this relationship between you and your person staying power. My biggest regret is that I didn't fight for this love. So they recognize they should have put forth more effort, more energy towards you and to this connection. Okay. And while they may regret that they didn't fight for this love, they will. They will put forth more effort. They will put forth more energy here in this connection between the two of you. I do feel they recognize that you are the person that they should not have let get away. You are the person who fulfills their dreams. You are the person who fulfills what is on their wish list in terms of a romantic partner. But their own, they also recognize that their own stuff, their own issues is what caused them to not fight for this love. But as they work through their guilt and their regret and their remorse and they change and they evolve, they will come out fighting and they will present themselves to you as a romantic partner and put forth the effort and energy you need them to, to be the solid, stable, romantic partner that you desire and deserve. Okay, guys? The Knight of Wands. This is someone who's going to put forth energy and effort in terms of your relationship and in terms of your connection. This is someone who is very attracted to you. And guess what? This Knight of Wands, once they're ready to take action, they will fight for this love. They will fight for this connection that's here between the two of you. And again, present themselves as a solid romantic partner. Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is... It's about a breakthrough. So your person, I do feel this is part of their breakthrough as well, recognizing these things within themselves that they need to shift, that they need to change so that they can grow and evolve into this person that can present themselves to you as a romantic partner. The Ace of Swords is about a breakthrough. It's about clarity. It's about being able to see things clearly. So it is no more clouded thinking, no more clouded judgment, no more what if, what if, what if, the situation between the two of you. But the Ace of Swords is also a card of communication and a card of decision. Swords are about ideas. They're about thoughts. They're about communication, the initiation of communication. So I do feel that this is telling us your person is thinking through all of this, that they need to reach out, that they need to bridge the gap that's here between the two of you, and they need to communicate with you and get this connection moving and grooving. The lovers. This is a decision for love. The lovers is a card of decision. It's about making a choice. And I do feel that as your person has this breakthrough, as they find their clarity, as they're ready to take, get all fired up here with this passion of the Knight of Wands, get all fired up, they're ready to take action, but they are making a choice for love. They know there's a strong love connection here between the two of you. And I do feel that they regret, they regret running from it. They regret treating you the way they treated you. They know they should have treated you better. They know that you deserve to be treated with love and respect. They're figuring this out and they're going to put forth the energy and the effort to fight for this love, wherever that card was, fight for this love. That's what I feel this reading is telling us your person is going to do. So I'm just going to leave this reading here for you guys so you can review it. Thank you all so much for watching and allowing us to be part of your journey. And if you're interested in looking at your personal journey, a link with details on how to get private readings with us is in the description below and pinned to the top comment. Also, we'd like to ask if you would take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you so very much. Blessings of peace, love, and light to everyone watching today. Have a great day, everyone.